Anthony Allen. Let's go fishing. Let's go fishing. Anthony Allen. Fellow Toastmasters, fellow fishermen, and fellow fisher ladies, I'm here today. I'm going to share with you some of my wisdom and knowledge that I got through experience with a good friend of mine. We're going to be talking about the most popular freshwater fish out there, the catfish. The catfish is a slippery skin, unattractive, shark fin fish. They grow to massive sizes and they taste good. Whether you southern fry them, grill them, or even barbecue them. The people, people, there's different ways to get out there to catch the fish. The first way you can get your old trot line. Trot line is a heavy duty fishing line that you can run from one side of the bank to the other. You have this time consuming, it takes resources. You can go out, you can get you a three or four foot fishing line, tie a hook to the bottom of it, throw some bait on it, and throw it on the jug and throw it out there in the water. And when the jug starts bopping up and down, then you know you got your fish on it. You crank the boat up and you chase it down the river. <laughs> you can do like my brother and I done, as long as your daddy don't find out. We went and cut an old tree limb down and then we didn't have no line and we noticed mama's clothesline. <laughs> that was my first fishing pole. It lasted about two hours. Like I said, my daddy found another use for that tree limb. <laughs> but I'm going to describe to you the most extreme way to catch a fish. If you love the outdoors, if you have a strong back and you are fearless, then this fishing is for you. Some of you may know this fishing as grabbling, AKA noodling, or thanks to reality TV, hillbilly ham fishing. <laughs> this word of people, the hillbilly ham fishing, this for the people with money, they really don't want to get muddy and fight the snakes and stuff, so they just go on and pay for a nice day in a clean pond. The real noodling occurs in a creek somewhere. And over down in Mississippi, we got plenty of them there creeks. I moved up here to North Carolina. We got a creek y'all call the Noose River. But I'm going to share with you my first experience of noodling. I was sitting on the front porch with my first love. Her name was Thelma. Me and Thelma was just swinging away. And Thelma looked at me. She called me Big A. I don't know why. <laughs> she said, Big A, I want to go noodling. I looked at Thelma and I said, hmm, I don't know what noodling is, but Thelma, if you want to go, I'm game. <laughs> so we went and got our paws, John bowed out from the shed, put it in the creek. And she said, Big A, I'm going to teach you the techniques for noodling. I said, okay, baby, I'm ready to learn all about this noodling. I'm only 14 years old. She said, we're going to go down the river and we got to look for an old log fell over in the water. Usually it should have some rocks around it. I was like, wow, I'm going to get into this noodling thing because I like playing in the water. <laughs> oh, Thelma, I'm sitting there paddling just a smile. Thelma looked at me. She said, this is the spot, Anthony. I said, oh, Thelma, all right. So I threw the anchor out. I said, what do we do now? 
Old Thelma, she looked at me and she said, Big A, you pull your shirt off and your shoes off. And I looked, you know, I said, okay, okay. We're going Newman, so I got to get my shirt off and shoes. Now, Thelma was just a big old country girl. We was about the same height. But until that day, I swear, I didn't know she had feet as big as mine. <laughs> Oh, Thelma caught me looking at her feet. She said, don't worry, Big A. I'm going to show you what these feet are good for. I said, ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, Thelma, she grabbed me by the hand and we jumped out of the boat. And it was a nice, hot summer day. I'm still trying to figure out how I got them chill bumps up my back. We going down through there and she said, Big A, take your feet and we gotta walk across the creek bed and we're going to try to find a hole. So we go through there patting the foot. I said, oh baby, I got a hole, I got a hole here. What we gonna do? She said, Big A, move out of the way. I'm gonna show you the technique. I said, oh baby, put them feet to work. <laughs> Old Thelma pushed me to the side and she put her foot over the hole and she said, you gotta block that hole. And as you block that hole, you kneel down to one knee. Then you move your foot and you gotta stick your hand down in that hole. And I said, baby, what you gonna do? She said, well, Big A, when that fish is gonna be mad when he tries to come out of that hole because you were invading his territory. He said, she said, he's gonna bite hold of that arm and when he does, you just grab your other hand, you work it through the jaw and come out through the gills, interlock your fingers and wrestle him. Take, take them and throw them in the boat or throw them to the bank, whichever one's closer. I was like, woo-wee. <laughs> oh, Thelma, she stuck her hand down in that hole and she liked to make different noises more than me. She, She was like, oh! I said, what is it, Thelma? She said, Big A, it's already nibbling at my finger. I said, oh Lord, we're gonna have us a big fish for supper. Oh, Thelma swung her hand out, jumped around. She had a little crawfish on her hand about that big. Now, let, now that you know about fishing, let's go fishing. Thank you.